Welcome back to the channel. I'm Drew from Gingo Productions and today we're gonna to be looking at the free noise reduction in DaVinci Resolve. I didn't know about this until the other day, until I saw it on someone's YouTube channel and I thought, that's a good idea, I'm gonna steal that. I'm not gonna tell which channel, because then they'll find out. The big question is, is this noise reduction any good and is it worth actually using? Well, if you have the studio version, obviously you have the fantastic noise reduction, which is in here. But if you don't have studio version, then you won't have this option. It's actually in the Fusion page. So if we come across to our Fusion page, then we have to add that noise reduction. So there's two ways to do this noise reduction. You can go to Tool and then come down to Film and then go to Remove Noise and that'll give you your noise reduction here. Or you can Shift Space and that'll bring up this little menu, which is a lot faster. And then just come down to Remove Noise, Add, same thing. So then what you do is unclick this this little box into this little triangle, and this little box into this little triangle, eventually, and bring it up. Right here, so we have our clip here. Oh, I should actually introduce the clip first. So let's go back to color. Here's the clip we're gonna be working with today. This is a future color grading video that I'm doing. Looks really nice. I mean, I don't wanna brag, but it does. But as you can see, it's quite noisy. So what I did when I did it is I used DaVinci Resolve's studio version to denoise it, and it turned out really good. But today, of course, we're not doing that. We're doing the free noise reduction. So go back to our Fusion page and come up to here. You can choose how you want to denoise it. It denoises the original clip. It doesn't actually denoise any color or anything you've added to it. So I, basically it works in the raw settings, even though this isn't a raw. Wait, is this a raw video? Is this is a raw video. I think it's a raw video. It is a raw video. Anyway, let's go back to Fusion. So anyway, Back on track. Basically, it's kind of softening out areas in your image. So, isn't actually ideal, but it is a free noise reduction, so we can't complain that much. So, let's have a look at it. Now, here's the thing. You can go through each channel, red, green, blue, and choose how you want to soften it, and then choose what detail you want to put back in. So, if you do lots of red, soften. Obviously, you want to put red detail back in, etc., etc. But that's kind of dumb, so let's not work that way. So, we're going to work in color first which is obviously the colors in your image. Let's lock it off. And then this is gonna do RGB together. Softness is basically meaning denoise, but as you can see, it is very soft and looks very terrible. So what I like to do is crank it right up in the detail and bring that softness down just a little bit. Okay, now let's work in the chroma. And again, put in some softness. Don't go too crazy, because as you can see, it breaks it quite quickly. And by breaking, I mean it makes it soft and horrible quite quickly. Let's add a lot of detail back in. The more detail you add back in, the more noise you're gonna get in, but it's kind of tricky. You wanna find a nice balance between softness and detail. All right, so let's go back to our color page and see how that's worked out. So let's look at our clip. Big screen, control F. As you can see, it is very soft. So it's pretty hard to tell at the moment if we've removed that much noise. I think it looks a little bit better, but let's put it side by side to the original image. Let's come up to here and go to split screen. And then we'll go to selected clips and we'll select the one next to it, which is one that hasn't been denoised. So if we look at our clips here. Again, it's hard to tell and it'll be even harder to tell with YouTube, but we have removed a lot of this noise from here. As you can see, it looks a lot cleaner. But the problem is, is our image is quite soft, right? Compared to this one here. This has a nice sharpness to it. This one, his face is a little bit muddy and a little bit soft. It doesn't look all that great. What we can do again is let's make a new node. So let's come to sharpen and let's actually sharpen our overall image and see if we can bring some of the detail back in. So we'll just sharpen it a little bit. And then we're gonna come across here. And we're gonna add some more mid-tone detail in and hopefully that'll sharpen up the face just a little bit more. Now look at our image. So that's with the sharpen off, that's with the sharpen on, and it does bring up a little bit more detail. So we still have some noise. It's not as bad as it was before we added in that noise reduction in the fusion panel. I mean, look, if you're in a pinch and you need to denoise and you can't afford the studio version or you can't afford, what's that other one called? Neat video, then yeah, I mean, this will help you out. This clip is pretty noisy. Like if we look at the one without the noise on it, it does help a lot, you know. If I didn't have a studio version I needed, I would definitely use it. You know, the, I guess the question is, is how bad you want to denoise your picture? If you only have a little bit of noise, 
I think adding this noise reduction will help out a lot and will work a lot better than a clip that is high volume in noise. Because if we were to do the noise reduction in the studio version, it's gonna look a lot better. So let's do that. Now I've already saved it, so all I have to do is turn that node back on. So if we look at our DaVinci Resolve studio version of Denoise, as you can see, our image is a lot sharper than the other image. So let's pull up the other image. Again, come up to here, split screen, select Eclipse. Make that bad boy big. Okay, so it's probably pretty hard to tell with YouTube's incredibly annoying compression. If you look at the face detail, and the face detail on this handsome man, as you can see, we are retaining a lot more detail than in this one here. This one is a little bit muddy, very soft, and we've really cranked up that detail. And this one, we haven't added any more detail. So I would probably always go back to this one, add a little bit more detail in the face, maybe denoise selected areas, so not denoise the whole image. This one, I'm not sure how to do that, so... I mean, if you know how to do that, then leave a comment below. Studio version of DaVinci Resolve Denoise is probably the best denoise you can actually get on the market right now. It's better than Neat Video, and it's obviously better than <laughs> DaVinci Resolve Fusion. It's actually pretty amazing, but if you can't afford it, again, I would use this free version. I mean, give it a crack. Play around with it. See how good you can get it. Leave a comment below and tell me if you can get a better result. I'd love to know actually what settings you use to get a nice sharp image, but at the same time reducing a lot of that noise. But again, I think if your video doesn't have that much noise, then this version here with the softness cranked right down and the detail cranked up a little bit, then you probably get a nice looking image without too much muddiness. This is gonna be a future grading project. So it looks like this before we start doing the grade. And as you can see, it's very noisy and it's completely different to the end result, which is this. You'll be able to download this footage once I put up the video and then be very exciting because it's a very good looking clip if I do say so myself, which I just did. And that'll be for maybe in a couple of weeks. We'll see how we go. I also learned another thing today while I'm mucking around Fusion and it's actually how to add film grain. So that's pretty exciting. Probably do a video on that. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I've been Drew from Gringo Productions. If you like this kind of stuff, make sure to subscribe. It really helps me out. I actually never say hit that like button, but if you like this kind of stuff, make sure to hit that like button. I'm not going to say smash that like button because that's what everyone says and it's kind of there, whatever. So thanks for watching and have a great day.